In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. With your spirit. My dear sisters and brothers in Christ, to prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries, let us call to mind our sins. You have come as the savior of the whole human family. We pray to you, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You have come to reveal to us the richness of God's love and mercy. We pray to you, Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You have come to share with us the gift of your own spirit, that we might be alive with your love. We pray to you, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sin and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son of God, Born of the Father, and of God, Son of Father, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sin of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who shows the light of your truth to those who go astray, so that they may return to the right path, give all who, for the faith they profess, are counted as Christians, the grace to reject whatever is contrary to the name of Jesus Christ, and to strive after all that he does in honor. We ask this to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord, just as from the heavens the rain and snow come down, and do not return there till they have watered the earth, making it fertile and fruitful, giving seed to the one who sows and bread to the one who eats. So shall my word be that goes forth from my mouth. My word shall not return to me void, but shall do my will, achieving the end for which I sent it. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The seed that falls on good ground will yield a fruitful harvest. The seed that falls on good ground will yield a fruitful harvest. You have visited the land and watered it, greatly have you enriched it. God's watercourses are filled, you have prepared the grain. The seed that falls on good ground will yield a fruit or harvest. Thus have you prepared the land. Drenching the perils, breaking upon his clods. 
softening it with showers, blessing its yield. The seed that falls on good ground will yield a fruit or harvest. You have crowned the year with your bounty, and your path overflow with a rich harvest. The youth untitled meadows overflow with it, and rejoicing close the hills. The sea that falls on good ground will yield a fruit or harvest. The fields are garment with flocks, and the valleys blanket with grain and they shout sing for joy the sea that falls on good ground will yield a fruit or harvest a reading from the letter of saint paul to the romans brothers and sisters I consider that the sufferings of this present time are as nothing compared with the glory to be revealed for us. For creation awaits with eager expectation the revelation of the children of God. For creation was made subject to fertility, not of its own accord, but because of the one who subjected it, in hope that creation itself would be set free from slavery to corruption and share in the glorious freedom of the children of God. We know that all creation is groaning in labor pains even until now. But not only that, but we ourselves who have the first fruit of the Spirit, we also groan within ourselves as we wait for adoption the redemption of our bodies. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Blessed are you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth. You have revealed to the little ones the mysteries of the kingdom. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory, Glory to you. On that day, Jesus went out of the house and sat down by the sea. Such large crowds gathered around him that he got into a boat and sat down, and the whole crowd stood along the shore. As he spoke to them at length in parables, saying, A sower went out to sow. And as he sowed, some seed fell on the path, and the birds came and ate it up. Some fell on rocky ground, where it had little soil. It sprang up at once, because the soil was not deep. And when the sun rose, it was scorched, and it withered for lack of roots. Some fell among thorns, and the thorns grew up and choked it. But some seed fell on rich soil and produced fruit, a hundred or sixty or thirtyfold. Whoever has ears ought to hear. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. In the first scripture reading of today's Mass, the prophet Isaiah describes the word of God as bread, 
the bread of life. It is through the word of God that we are nourished, strengthened, enabled to live the Christian life. We are able to follow Jesus. In the gospel, Jesus uses basically the same image, talking about the seed of, and expecting that those of us who receive him, who welcome him into our life as the bread of life, that we would be the ones who would reveal him to the world in which we live. <clears throat> I believe in one God, the Father. Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins and look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Let us pray. We who have received God's mercy humbly ask for the needs of the church and of the world. that every believe, believer be fertile soil for the growth of God's word. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. That every land rejoice in plenty, foreshadowing the harvest to be shared in heaven. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. That those who suffer from physical and spiritual hunger be filled with healing goodness. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That farmers and all who work the earth receive just wage and abundant harvest. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who gather here in community seek ways to reach out to love those who are alone. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pause now to remember any intentions you want to include in this Mass either spoken or in your hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. Almighty and eternal God, bringer of the harvest, you give us every good thing. Grant what we ask in the name of Jesus, our Lord.
pray, my sisters and brothers in Christ, that my sacrifice and yours will be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good of all his holy church. Look upon the offerings of your church, O Lord, as she makes her prayer to you, and grant that when consumed by those who believe, they may bring even greater holiness. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Jesus Christ our Lord. For by his birth he brought renewal to the human family's fallen state. And by his suffering he canceled out our sins. By his rising from the dead he has opened the way to eternal life. And by ascending to you, O Father, he has unlocked the gates of heaven. And so with the companies of the angels and the saints, we sing the hymn of your praise, and without end, we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy. holy. indeed holy, O Lord, and from the world's beginning you are ceaselessly at work, so that the human family may become holy, just as you yourself are holy. Look, we pray, upon your people's offering, and pour out upon them the gift of your Spirit, that they may become the body and the blood of Jesus Christ, your beloved Son, in whom we have become your daughters and your sons, and could approach you, you loved us with the greatest love. For your son, who alone is just, handed himself over to death, and did not disdain to be nailed for our sake to the wood of the cross. But before his arms were outstretched between heaven and earth, to become the lasting sign of your covenant, he desired to celebrate the Passover with his disciples. And while they were at supper, he took the bread, said the blessing, broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when the supper was ended, he took the chalice. And giving you thanks, he said the blessing. He gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, my blood of the new and eternal covenant. It will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save the Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of your Son, Jesus Christ, who is our Passover and our lasting peace, we celebrate his death and resurrection from the dead, 
and looking forward to his blessed coming, we offer you, who are faithful and merciful God, the sacrificial victim who reconciled to you the whole human family. Look kindly, most compassionate Father, on those you unite to yourself. By the sacrifice of your Son, and grant that by the power of the Holy Spirit, as they partake of this one bread and this one chalice, that they may be gathered into the one body of Christ who heals every division. Be pleased to keep us always in communion of mind and heart with Francis our Pope and with John our Bishop. Help us to work together for the coming of your kingdom until the hour when we stand before you saints among saints in the hall of heaven with the blessed Virgin Mary, the mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and the glorious martyrs, and with our own deceased brothers and sisters, whom we humbly commend to your mercy. Then freed at last from the wounds of corruption and made fully into a new creation, we shall sing to you with gladness the thanksgiving of Christ who lives for all eternity. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by his divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our day, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. As we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you. My peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, for you live and reign forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. And share that gift of peace with one another. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Have mercy on us. Take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sin of the world. How blessed are we to be called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
de vida, cuerpo del Señor, cup of blessing, blood of Christ the Lord. At this table, the last shall be first, hoy de recibir, porque Dios es Let us pray. Having received these gifts, we pray, O oh Lord, that by our partic participation in this mystery, its saving effect upon us may grow. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Our celebration is ended. Let us go in peace now to love and to serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Praise the Holy Trinity, undivided you.